first of all what you have to do is to go to the settings then scroll down and press on about device scroll down and press software info scroll down and then tap build number seven times until you see developer has been enabled now you should see this option right here developer option make sure that OEM unlocking is unlocked don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon well guys this is second gentlemen today I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy J5 or J7 2015, 2016 or Prime variants with full steps without affecting your phone like FAP, Lock or Recovery is not C Android enforcing or Kernel is not C Android enforcing. So first of all what you have to do is, is to make sure that your phone battery percentage is between 100% or like 70% to 100%. Now once you have charged your phone make sure that you download the Super SU the Turub and Odin. Now once you have downloaded that, now simply connect your phone to the computer using your USB cable and then on your computer press allow permission and then should prompt Samsung Galaxy app. So now what you have to do is, is to simply drag the Super SU to your phone storage. Once that is done, disconnect the cable and then shut down your phone. Press power off. Now, once it's fully powered off, simply hold down volume down button, home button, and power button simultaneously until you hear the vibration. So once you are in this warning screen, press volume up to access the download mode. Now connect to the computer using your USB cable again and then launch Odin. Now you should see this blue bar. If not then the link is going to be on the description below on how to download and install Samsung drivers for your computer. Then you have to restart of course. Now press AP and locate your Turup file. And make sure you, that you go to options and uncheck auto reboot. Otherwise, the Turup will not install properly on your device. Now press start. Once you see a pass or reset sign, simply press the close window, close it, then disconnect the cable. So now in this step, if your device is non-removable battery, then you have to hold volume down button and power button for 30 seconds until you see the screen is turned off. But if you have a device with removable battery then you have to remove it manually. So once that is done, reconnect it and then hold down volume up button, home button and power button simultaneously until you hear the vibration. Release the power button and wait for a couple of seconds. As you can see, you are in Turup now. Now, what you have to do is, is to press never show this screen during boot again. Then swipe across. Now press install. And here, what you have to do is, is to press on select storage and make sure that you are in, stor in internal storage if you have kept the Super SU there. Now scroll down until you see Super SU. Swipe across. It should take a couple of seconds. Once you see these two options, press wipe cache, swipe cross, then reboot system.
once your device is booted up, now what you have to do is, is to see if the SuperSQ is there. So as you can see, I have SuperSQ on my device. <clears throat> I'm going to quickly download the root checker just to see if the root have successfully installed my device or not. <clears throat> 